the swish. You don't have to be a basketball player to respect it. Like leveling up in a video game, chopping vegetables with a really, really sharp knife. Swishing a basketball three-point shot is one of the most satisfying feelings. What is up, my friends? My name's Josh. Today, I'm telling the story of how I got good at shooting a basketball. This is a story of practice, habit, determination, seeing something I wanted, finding someone who had done it before, doing what they did through an implemented daily plan of habits and action, and getting that thing myself. So when I was 15 or 16 years old, you know, I was athletic, I was an active kid, but I wasn't skilled at basketball. Played a few seasons, didn't get playing time, didn't really feel good about what I was doing in practice. I was looking to be better. I had experienced the feeling of making a jump shot or two in a game from my first few seasons, and it's just exhilarating seeing that ball swish through and splack on the nylon. And I came across an ad online for an online course. Little did I know, this first investment in an online course would open the door to knowledge. The ad in the course, I felt, was speaking exactly to me. It was like, do you practice, but somehow those results don't transfer to the game? You put in all these hours, but you don't see an increase in playing time, an increase in points per game. Some people on your team probably practice even less, and they're getting even better. Why is that? <laughs> like, really markety, gimmicky sounding thing. But it's like, oh, that's what's happening to me. I'm not good at basketball. So, so I got the course, and I started the program. This was one of the only online courses I invested in that had a straight-up actionable do this, then this, then this plan, and you will get this result. So I took that course, I took those workout programs, and I implemented them so exactly because, you know, where else was I going to learn this information? I, this was my resource, you know? I paid $60 for this course, printed out the program, and went at it. It was a 16-week program with different phases of drills that increased in difficulty as you got better over the course of the 16 weeks, and every few weeks, uh, you tested your shooting to see by what percentage you increased every time. So what I actually did in the program, it was about an hour to an hour and a half every day of a shooting workout, and you would start really close to the basket, 30 or 40 shots within three feet of the basket, just focusing on the finesse of that release, and then making sure that that release was the exact same, no matter how far away you were from the basket, and all that was changing was the power coming from your legs. So no matter where I was shooting from, because I practiced this way, the shot looked exactly the same every single time. So once I warmed up for about 15 or 20 minutes, then I did some dribbling, then I did about 40 minutes of these shooting drills. Every day, maybe four or five days a week that summer, over those 16 weeks, my dad and I would go to the local high school gym and God freaking bless him for getting my rebounds every day over that summer and helping me, you know, grow that skill. I'm really thankful for my dad for that. This course didn't just teach me how to shoot a basketball. It taught me how to implement a plan to work towards a goal, how to take information and know that information and put it into practice with my actions. And first, I learned the foundations of a jump shot. I learned that your feet are the most important part of the shot. If your toes aren't lined up towards the basket, then your knees won't be pointed towards the basket, so your hips won't be, so your shoulders won't be facing the basket. Top follows bottom, all the way up to your fingertip won't be releasing exactly towards the basket if that foundation is off. You know, starting something as simple as a jump shot, right, with a strong foundation. <laughs> I didn't even realize that I, that I would make this metaphor, but like literally beginning with the end in mind, starting with a strong foundation. I would use that if this was like a talk to, to high school kids, but this is my YouTube video, so I get to joke about how I made up that analogy on the spot. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? 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 Hey. So what ended up happening? What was the result of this course? So as it turned out, I did actually get a lot better at shooting a basketball. I'm still pretty good at shooting a basketball to this day. 
yeah, I'm happy I did that. It's really fun to, to shoot a basketball. <laughs> basketball is one of my favorite things to do. And the season of high school basketball I had after that program was my best season ever. I had no less than two three-pointers every game. I was a starter. I was actually the second leading scorer on the team. One of my friends was a lot quicker and taller and was a forward, so he, he got more touches. But whenever we got a rebound, we kicked it out and automatic. My I was a machine, you know? If the ball, if the ball was in the shooting pocket, I didn't even have to think, and my arms just did the thing, and and the ball went in. It was like I was almost watching it happen. Was the feeling uh, of shooting when I'm just in a flow in the zone, and the ball's going in, and I'm not even thinking about it. Like I just know it's gonna go in before it even comes off my hands, because that motion is so automatic. And this is and this is over doing this for like a summer, you know. And I am I imagine and kind of on and off, honestly, you know. I I didn't I don't have that like. 100% daily practice of that. And so when I think of someone who's been in the NBA for 20 years, how automatic it must be to shoot a basketball for them, having seen the seemingly huge improvement in myself over just the course of three months, I can't imagine what like having professional guidance when this is all your body is supposed to do, all you are supposed to do as a human, uh, you know, is, is shoot that ball. I, I just have so much respect for how good NBA players are. So that's cool. So what I learned, I guess, in life from this and why I'm talking about this in my Moving to California series, uh, basically I learned, for it was one of the first times in life that I you know, saw a goal that I wanted and actually felt the result of doing a thing every day to move the needle towards that thing, you know? And with my goal right now being to pay off my student loans and move out of my parents' house, make my way in the world and move to California. I've been seeing, again, the the result of, of daily practice and daily implementation of, of habits and stuff. I was able to quit my job and start freelancing full time, double my part time job income, working half the time by you know, picking up the habit of editing videos every day. I've grown this YouTube channel to about 1,600 subscribers from that daily practice of editing and filming and uploading and moving the needle on my goals, which right now, like I said, are to are to move to LA to build this YouTube channel and to build my freelance business. Well, I take a lot from what I learned that summer in the gym with my dad shooting basketball, you know? So a lot of people learned that lesson a lot of different ways in life. And for me, it was because of the fact that I love to see the ball swish through the net every time I shot it. And that is what caused me to double down and be determined to my goals for one of the first times. So subscribe to the channel if you are, if you like basketball, if you like basketball cards, if you're a determined individual that will get the most out of life and thrive. Yeah, that's this series. That's what I'm documenting, how I'm doing it, moving the needle in life and getting better. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really appreciate it. You can get a free Thrive sticker in the description and I'll see you in the next video.